So, um, Leo, what do we have? We do have the Seven of Pentacles, Patience and Planning, and we do have Temptation. So I wonder how this goes, you know, how temptation can be patient. Let me tell you it can, but <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyways, <clears throat> and of course we have the devil and the eight of swords. So devil can be fear. We might be afraid, Leo, right? That is something in your love life that we feel a little bit insecure about, trapped in fear in a mental prison. Three of swords, we are afraid to be hurt again. I know, we are afraid to, you know, that maybe we're going to go down that road again. Five of Swords, conflict and defeat. Oh my God, what's going on, Leo? Who's hurting you like this? Who's hurting you like this? Good. So let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. The first week of April, again. And we do have the hangman, we have sacrifice, and we have the empress. We have changing perspectives, and we have the fertility, the nurturing card, the loving card, the stability, the abundance, creativity. Maybe you have kids with this person, and you show up here as the mother of their children, the father of their children, you know, that beautiful energy. And that is an awakening that is absolutely with the hangman, expansion of the mind and awakening perfect now leo past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies and let's see the possible outcome on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies and of course i say possible because you always have free will and you always have your to use your better judgment. We do have the Wheel of Fortune changes, good changes. And now you have three major arcana as the overall energy. So for some of you, this is um, um, right piece of advice and guidance. And it is expand your mind, be creative, and allow the universe to do um, you know its complete cycles in your life. Oh, isn't it interesting? Um, in the past, we do have the hangman again. So absolutely, there is a separation uh, from this person. Maybe some sacrifice. Maybe you sacrificed something, uh, Leo. Maybe you sacrificed yourself for this love because it is sacrifice, right? Then you show up here with the sun card. You might have sacrificed your happiness for this connection, your um, awakening in some sort, your light, your own light, right? Um... And this is also the energy of stagnation. Yeah, sacrifice is strong. I mean, we just started the reading and we have twice the energy of sacrifice. So kind of all that to say, Leo, that you gave a lot to this connection in so many ways. Um, Empress is actually with the sacrifice is really giving everything you had to this person in any way, shape or form. Um, you know, and, and then there was stagnation. The hangman, we know it's the separation, it's the breakup is being away from your person and um you know and we get the destiny card you know they are destined to you so or whatever happened was meant to right that's um the energy of the wheel of fortune and what goes around comes around um leo that's another energy of the wheel of fortune and i feel because you have beautiful energy so far so i i feel that you know whatever you uh, set out into the world in terms of intentions in regards to this connection and it comes back with the Wheel of Fortune, right? We know it's the universe saying, I'm in charge. Um, now, Leo, the person you are dealing with, they might have rejected you. We do have the Five of Pentacles, or maybe them, they felt rejected by you. But that is also the energy of the Ace of Swords. I kind of feel that with one communication, all this happened, you know, that's uh, the Ace of Swords energy. I also feel that was an awakening and a new vision. Uh, for this person somehow communication changed their uh, mind perspective vision understanding and gave them ideas um, and again this confirmation five of pentacles this confirmation that somebody uh, you know said no thank you you might have said they might have said and in the whole process on your um, side we have the light and on their side we have the vision and the understanding 
um, somebody might have been confused. That's how Five of Pentacles is paired with the Ace of Swords. Uh, it's a combined, merged kind of energy. Um, because they got somehow enlightened and um, smart about um, whatever happened between the two of you. Now, in the past, we do have the star, which is Aquarius energy. Uh, and we do have the Four of Swords. So again, uh, the energy of breakup, the energy of I cannot talk to you, please don't talk to me, the energy of I need time, I need space, I need my bubble. And yet that is the energy of hope between the two of you in the past. So none of you actually lost hope that, uh, you know, you'll, you'll come back around or you'll have that, um, you know, um, meeting of the minds, meeting of the hearts again. Um, the star card is also the energy of divine guidance and it's like this was meant to be uh, Leo this is the energy of it was in your energy it was in your plan it was in their energy it was in their plan um, and you know actually hope never died through this I mean this so far it screams sacrifice separation longing distance um, and um, no communication and yet you know that is hope and that is communication at least it is in the past yeah it's an interesting energy of silence and yet having communication ace of swords is written communication so maybe you still write to each other um but that is you know it's more them towards you leo but can be you towards them too all right it's general really general energies so um where are we right now, Leo? We do have the Five of Cups and we do have the Temperance. Um, so this person might be a Sagittarius. Again, can be uh, Hangman is Pisces Cancer. Sometimes, not all the time, Leo. Um, Aquarius and now we have Sagittarius and we have the Emotional Loss, the Five of Cups. So if you are connecting with the Sagittarius, this is the, um, the I Almost Died Missing You and it's also the Energy of Longing yearning for this person for an emotional bond it's the five of cups it is looking at the uh, spilled cups and not seeing the two of cups behind you and for some of you is longing for balance temperance patience compromise getting back into balance and uh, simply being present and aware in some way so we have the sun in the in the past and now the temperance in the present moment again i do love the major arcana because we know uh, things are destined to happen and also we know um, we need to follow right the advice so one is um, about balance and one is about compromise and um, being tempered and being patient now the person you are dealing with Leo they want reconciliation we do have the three of cups and wish fulfillment nine of cups somehow you make them happy that is the nine of cups is the energy of um you know the only focus that i have is my leo you know only leo can make me happy uh this is the energy that they have and what makes them happy actually is the reconciliation that they want they may be in their emotions right now um dealing coping with um and also having having an idea on how to get their happiness back with you that's Ace of Swords. It started in the past, this um, thinking process. Ace of Swords is also about planning and being smart and having idea and deploying uh, those ideas. So somebody comes towards a place of happiness, right? They've uh, worked their way out to um, out of the Five of Pentacles energy to, um, to a certain, uh, um, you know, desire to reconcile with the Three of Cups and also the knowing, right? The information and the uh, clarity, actually, that you are the one. Mutual energies between the two of you. Of course, a world of silence. We do have the Four of Swords in the past and we have the Four of Swords in the present moment. And we also have the mental conflict, the confusion. What should I do? What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to? In need to make choices, being blindfolded and um apart from each other that's the four of swords you know as in social isolation right um well i know i know it's nothing to laugh about but it's kind of funny you know um just saying it's kind of okay um and mental conflict so i feel that both that's interesting right 
um, or not seeing. Uh, Two of Swords is also the energy of refusing to see, but um, I believe it's more about confusion because nobody's talking to each other. This reading is screaming of silence, right? Um, with the Five of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Four of Swords, um, Five of Cups, you know, uh, the person is uh, by himself or by herself in their own um, energy and not uh, really seeing or connecting with the outside world. So, but again, can be the energy of social isolation, can be the energy of COVID. Unfortunately, we see it with the tower moments and all kinds of energies showing up um, around people. So, um, so that is that. And the energy of swords, right? Need for communication, need for idea, need for a plan. Um, but yeah, you make them happy. Yeah, you have your ways, um, Leo. Oh, you are the one in mental conflict. Okay. Well, moving forward, um, Leo, we do have the two of swords, mental conflict again. So it's kind of actually maybe you bring into this connection your mental conflict. You don't know what to do. And, and the universe sends you the high priestess. Can you please listen to your intuition? Can you please listen to your gut feeling? You know, right? You feel, you know the answer, you have it. So why the mental conflict? For some of you, you need to make choices based on intuition and gut feeling. And I hope you are able to do and it's not your, um, you know, uh, very critical side of the brain saying, no, you know, you need to be sure and you have to, to have science proof kind of arguments. Um, but it's, um, it's intuition, Pisces Cancer energy, um, but I, I feel it's more about you and it's about, um, how you see the whole situation and I, um, I'm, I, I tend to believe, um, Leo, that we might be a little bit confused. Five of Cups is the energy of, um, being overwhelmed by emotions and the Two of Swords is actually too confused to make a decision. So, you know, um, and then it's paired with the intuition card. But I feel that this is more a piece of advice than anything else. Saying you do have the answer. You know. You know. Um, but you are not listening kind of. Right? And speaking of the tower and the disruption. The person you are dealing with. Um, they do have the tower and the three of pentacles. So um, this is energy of disruption. And this is the energy of partnership. So um, it's kind of an explosion of a, of a committed relationship of something that this person created. They might be going through a shocking moment. Um, maybe it's a three of pentacles, the energy of planning and building together. So they might be working on, um, you know, rebuilding. Um, their life or um, turning it around in some way um, and it might uh, have to do something either with a partnership or a commitment or um, maybe a job or um, a teamwork or whatever um, endeavors they are working on on their side their energy is an explosive one actually and mutual energies we do have the moon um, Pisces energy and we do have the six of wands victory and success absolutely we all know overcome fears and shadow and dark energies they are going through something um, April at least this is the energy coming towards them the energy of disruption of a partnership of a commitment rebuilding their life from scratch and both of you you are kind of afraid you know that is the energy of fear and shadows and yet wanting to have success and victory, doing the necessary work actually to be victorious to something that you guys have in mind, you and your person. Now, of course, we go. We always go back to the overall energy and I love the uh, the world card. We know it's a time card um, in tarot. I'm not going to read as timing. I don't feel it like timing, but this is actually the universe saying, yeah, that is that is something that you can do with your mind and your sacrifice or the power of sacrifice yes there's something you can do by being creative um and nurturing this connection and this person but then there is destiny um uh, in in the works you know so just so you know and um we are emotional right leo we are emotional right now for some of you actually you are um, guided to be patient to listen to your intuition and stay in the light and also the energy of expansion of your mind if that is you know try to understand this differently 
try to put the situation upside down, right? Um, you know, you know when you put you, when you put a book, you you read a book, and at some point you turn it upside down and you read it in reverse, you know, just so so you can expand your ability to understand words, right? Uh, I was doing that when I was a child to expand, you know, the uh, the visuals of words so that we can read in reverse without any effort. Anyways, that's a whole exercise we are doing to expand our mind. Um, anyways, so that is that. Um, that is that. And then that is this person um, desiring you, right? And wanting reconciliation, but that is a boom. Either that needs to happen or they are going through a boom. And then that is this epiphany. I mean, Ace of Swords with the tower that is up. Of course, there is time in between. But together, they make the epiphany, right, that we need. That idea that, boom, um, you know, turns the, our world upside down. And then we need to cut things off. So, anyways, this is how it feels. Um, it's interesting. The confusion is on your side and the clarity of belief on it's on their side. So... I'm just saying, you you seem pretty confident in the past with the sun, uh, right? Um, knowing, that's the knowing and the awakening energy. And then we got confused in the process, kind of, while they get, um, you know, they know exactly what they want. And if it takes a boom, the energy I'm feeling on their side, Leo, this is the energy of, well, if it takes a boom to have my Leo, I'm going to, you know, uh, I'm going to do the boom. I'm going to create the boom. Whatever the boom means, absolutely, of course. So, um, Leo, let's ask for some guidance. What are we supposed to know? I don't think, do you feel like Romans angels? I don't feel like Romans angels. No, we feel like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. We're going to take Romans angels. Okay. So, let's see. So we have very soon, it says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So now we are in trouble because we don't know what we want. That's how we get the two of swords and the five of cups here. It's like, what am I supposed to want? So um, I love this because it says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Setting out intentions and manifestations. So that is that. And then we have a retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world, right? Uh, well, we are in social isolation. Thank you, universe. You know, it's like just a reminder. Please stay in social isolation. Oh, the universe is funny sometimes. And we do have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Of course, all that confusion, it kind of makes sense. Um, right? And it is very soon free yourself, Leo. I don't know what you need to free yourself from. But you have free yourself and then retreat. So step back. Free your salvation from somebody. And then we have the passion card. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And we have getting to know each other, bottom of the deck. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I don't know who you reveal yourself to. But it looks like um, that is a bond that is forming as you show yourself. And we have surrendered to receiving um, support and love. So allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. I love the bottom of the deck. And it says surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. Um... Yeah, Leo, the guidance, I don't know who this applies to, but you have to free yourself very soon from something. Step back because, you know, you have to allow yourself passion, love, and you need to change your mind frame. That is something about yourself that you tell yourself that is no longer true. That's the guidance we received today. However, this applies um, to you. And Leo, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. And please don't forget to wash your hands more often during the day. Take care. Bye.